Hello, my name's Lindy Cowling and welcome to my channel. My website is www.lindycowling.co.uk. My email is info at lindycowling.co.uk. And a short video I'm just being drawn to record today is titled Catalytic Converters. So what I'm referring to here are the many variations that we can experience of an event or a person that comes into our life that has a huge catalyst effect upon us and propels us into some kind of massive life change or personal change and drives us, it really it drives us within to understand who we truly are, to learn who we truly are. Now sometimes a person can be a catalyst for another person and it not have any romance involved in it whatsoever. It can be a, a, a connection, someone crashes into your life, they're in it for a very short space of time, usually with catalysts, they're in and out quite quickly, uh, sometimes a matter of weeks, a matter of months, maybe you know a year or so, and then they seem to be gone once they've done what needed to be done, once the effect has been had, so to speak, then they tend to disappear off. And of course, if that walnut isn't cracked open by then, meaning the walnut of your heart, if you aren't cracked open enough by then and haven't had enough self-realization to realize who you truly are, then another catalyst comes in, and perhaps even another one. And I've said this on videos before, it's the fastest way of learning and experiencing and really the fastest track to spiritual growth isn't isn't solo in that we isolate ourselves away from other people it's that interaction with other people and that interaction like i say doesn't always have to be romantic it can be a catalyst that's a, a close friend that has a powerful effect on your energy and you have a powerful effect on theirs but it even can be, you know, I'm going to use as an example here, and this is what I have encountered with clients, and actually quite a few clients, this is not unusual, where somebody has come into their life, literally they don't know that person, physically know that person. I'll give you, I'm going to give you a simple example, but I could, I'm, I've dealt with numerous people like this, but I'm going to give you a simple example. There's a knock on the door. It's the TV repairman. The woman goes to answer the door. She's been married for 32 years. She's just been ticking over with her life. Her life in her eyes is quite ordinary, not particularly exciting, just quite ordinary. Guy comes to the door. They make eye contact. She feels a surge of attraction but hey that's not unusual sometimes people are attracted to one another he goes to shake her hand they shake hands all of a sudden all hell breaks loose she feels feelings she's never felt in her life not feelings she hasn't felt in years because her marriage is perhaps very familiar and routine now not that she feels feelings she hasn't felt in her life she feels electricity running up and down her spine. Everything looks very bright. She feels a surge of love for this person. She feels her heart start to ache. This guy looks a bit shocked because he's picking up perhaps some of her energy himself, but also looking at the shocked reaction on her face, a reaction of in some ways a recognition and often, in fact, I would say almost always, there seems to be some kind of recognition. I'm sure I know this person or this feels familiar. Then the guy comes in, fixes the television. She's a, a bubbling wreck by now. And then he goes out 
and she never hears from the television man again, never sees the television man again, but never stops thinking about the television man again. And it's so strong in her that it triggers an emotional tsunami. She leaves her marriage. May have taken a year down the line to do it, but that was the beginning of the end of the marriage. Even though there's no communication with the TV man again, she's turned her whole life upside down on the back of that. Someone third dimensionally watching this, and I shouldn't think anyone to do with the third dimension is even interested in anything at all that I would have to say, but someone third dimensionally watching this would say, what a stupid woman, midlife crisis. You know, why would she do that? Not a stupid woman at all, a very courageous woman that has had a huge catalyst encounter, a catalyst encounter designed to stimulate her soul, her spirit, sometimes to awaken in her kundalini energy. Uh, a catalyst experience brings up everything that was ticking away in the background. So in reality, this woman, for example, may have been quite unhappy for a number of years but just accepted well that was her lot not really able to access her heart because she had never been given an opportunity to do so and that encounter gave her an opportunity to do so does her life begin and end with a television repairman absolutely not does that mean the television television repairman was her twin flame 95% likely not and the likelihood of him coming back into her life again almost zero it's a catalyst experience profoundly life-changing listen to the word catalyst it's massive it's massive it's life-changing it shows how powerful it is when people turn their whole lives around on the back of that, when there has been barely a word spoken between them, no contact again. These are catalyst experiences and sometimes people mistake them. A, they mistake them for something like twin flames. And I'm not saying in a tiny percentage of cases, it can't actually be a twin flame, but that's the minority. But usually these are catalyst experiences and what people do is because they perceive it to be perhaps something like a twin flame union, they put an attachment on that straight away is it must be that they're supposed to be in a relationship or a mission with a television repairman, for example. And it was never meant for that in the first place. It's meant as a huge awakening within them. And the good news out of this is they don't have to really like fixate on the person that stimulated that awakening in them. They can come to a state of far less pain over it and a state of peace. And they come into a realization that, hey, if that's a catalyst and it was an almighty one because I've changed my whole life on the back of it, there is more to come, not necessarily with that catalyst, but there is more to come for me. There's more to come in my own awakening, which means I may connect with other people on very powerful levels. It doesn't all begin and rest with that one person. It doesn't all depend on that one person that triggered it. But let us make no mistake, they are extremely powerful very very powerful powerful enough to shake people down to the ground and to change their whole lives on the back of it this is not unusual this isn't unusual i really do deal with a lot of people across the world that have life-changing experiences triggered by somebody that they barely exchange words with and sometimes no words at all and their head tells them well they're crazy. Their head tells them, how can I be about to do what I'm about to do and change my whole life? And I never even said one word to that person. In a minority of cases, it is actually about that person and there's more to come with that person later on down the line. 
but in most cases it's not it's not that at all in most cases it's uh, the trigger it's a catalyst a huge one it's life changing but there is a there is a difference there's a difference between that and the purpose of it really is still immensely powerful just like when uh, you trigger around a genuine twin flame just like when you trigger around a soulmate that but there are differences in the purpose of it all act as catalysts in a certain, to a certain degree but there are different purposes and different outcomes to soulmates catalysts the twin flame union I think it's an important point to make because Again, I see a lot of confusion about that. If somebody has not lived through or isn't part of or experienced the Twin Flame Union, they wouldn't know there was a difference in that. The Twin Flame Union has a, has a different sound and subtle differences to a catalyst, a different purpose to a catalyst. A catalyst and the twin flame union has a different sound and different purposes to soulmates. Soulmates are relationship and partnership orientated far more, far more harmoniously because it's different, it's slightly different to say, for example, the twin flame union or catalyst doesn't mean one is better than the other they're just slight variations and they're here for different purposes but there are differences they're not all the same the one or I say two common denominators are they all have a catalytic effect upon your own evolution and driving you back to the being you truly are within and the other common denominator is that they are life-changing they are life changing in all cases. They all call upon you to, to stand in the truth of who you are. Sometimes it can be, you know, when you look out there in the information, it can be confusing for people. They think, what the, or WTF? Is it a catalyst? Is it a twin flame? Is it this? Is it that? I would say in the midst of your confusion, go to the information you resonate with or just take some time to process it and assimilate all this and ask yourself why is it important for you to know in those early days anyway? Is it important for you to know because you just want to understand it or is it important for you to know because you want to control it? Is it important for you to know because you want to fixate on it? Just have a look at what that, when I say that, what that brings up for you. Almost relax about the labels. Having said that, there are differences between soulmates, most definitely, and between catalysts, most definitely, and between a twin flame union. The Twin Flame Union is, an, is a template of service to humanity. It's a twin, uh, the Twin Flame template is, is an act of service for humanity, not just about self-realization and not service to self, it's a, an act of service for humanity. Catalysts are very different to that in that they are an awakening, a personal awakening not a service to humanity, a personal awakening for the individuals involved. Soulmates are much more to do with an awakening, but with a relationship format about them, it's much, much easier compared to the twin flame union dynamic and different, different to the catalyst. They all feel slightly different and personally for me, I hear and feel the sounds of the soul and spirit. I hear it and feel them. But again, it's not a case of hierarchy to hear. It's just a case of subtle differences and the purpose of them, but they're, they're all interwoven. They all have a massive effect upon the individuals involved and they're all life changing. 
on that note, I will love you and leave you. I uh, I've suddenly put a spate of YouTube videos out, uh, having been quiet for a little bit. Sometimes it goes like that with me. Suddenly I have input, 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 and it's like I've got to get in front of a camera. I've got to get in front of a camera, even though I'm extremely busy with a lot of other things. A lot of life changes for me coming up, uh, which I'll go into at a slightly later date. So, like everybody else, you know, the pressure's on, the intensity's on that we're feeling on this planet. So, sometimes, you know, I won't be on camera. And other times, like, it's just like, oh, I've got to get a lot of information out at the moment. I'm just compelled to do it. So, anyway, on that note, I hope you are all dealing with the intensities and the change and all the stuff that's coming up for us all at the moment because it's moving pretty quick, isn't it? Anyway, lots of love. And uh, I'll love you and leave you. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.